Uh, of course, there is always room for improvement. I would say that uh, you were very wise in many ways. Before coming to the climax of the middle part, you made a very well-placed diminuendo for the preceding phrase, so that as having a better effect on top and so on. Uh, I would say that when you think with a certain uh, emotion, you have a tendency to make your pitches quite blurred. In all the final prayer, you see the Let's see whether you can take the, the ending from the second time. Ah, je dis que rien ne veut pas. By the way, uh, here too, I have a preference about this, uh, uh, this, this G and the proper method and word. The, eh? Yes, the uh, okay. uh, I think it's a little bit, uh, well, silly to see that. No, either one should have enough breath for going to the end of the phrase, or then there is another possibility with this. Je dis que rien ne m'épouvante. You know? Here it's not very important. <coughs> there is a place like that which is, which is one of my pet peeves, and it is in, in uh, Mimi's aria. You see? La in una bianca cameretta guardo i suddetti e in cielo ma... I think it's silly because the composer has written a, a silence e in cielo in the orchestra ma quando viene lo Prior to this place, Mimi is a timid little girl who already for a while do doesn't know very much what to say anymore. She repeats what she had said at first because she was at the end of her, of, of, of her, her wits, you see. But then during this silence, she discovers she has fallen in love. And then she starts singing the, the beautiful ti ti ra ti ra ra which is completely a different person. But if for the sake of showing that you have a good breath, you carry over in cello and breathe, gone. Has no meaning whatsoever. See? Well, here also, if the, the portamento is written, consequently we have to make it, but I believe that it can be done by breathing just before jeudi. Ah, jeudi. So let's try from there again, and then you will go to the end, making all the dynamics that you did generally very well, but keeping the, 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 the pitch pressed in, right? absolutely without you.
much better. Nevertheless, I let you go in a minute. Uh, be very careful. Mm, I believe that practically all your tones have a second tone in the back. Protégez-moi, oh Seigneur. You see, why do you do that? You returned, you returned. Yes, it was not told, nobody told you. But it's very important, you see. The tone must, n once you sing a, a tone, it must say one until the end of the value. Not in English often, on account of the diphthongs, but in all other languages. Protégez-moi, ô Seigneur. There should never be a kind of echo dimmed. And this what you are makes also the lower part of your voice very with, uh, uh, without much resonance. Because it's say, Seigneur, Seigneur. The voice is a, a, a free element. It should not be cut anywhere, neither front nor back. It spins all the time in a vacuum. And you put, a, 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 you, you catch, how could I say, you catch your vowel by the tail. You see? You must be very careful. 